well. I have seen Revenge of the Fallen. And uh, to quote one of my uh, reviewer mentors, it was awesome. I I can't find anything wrong with this movie. It was beautiful. It was amazing. I did. It was great. Nothing wrong with it. I personally enjoyed it. Anybody else has a problem with it? Too bad. It's great. I like it. Anyway, so in honor of this amazing movie that has been released, I have decided to keep moving forward with my Revenge of the Fallen reviews. Uh, I've done Soundwave. I've done Ravage. And after seeing the movie, there was pretty much only one one I can do, and that would be Megatron. He came back, full of fury, full of venom. He was pissed. He was missed. His new alt form was amazing. His robot form was even more amazing. I mean, I think the point I'm trying to drive home here is that it was amazing. Yes? Yeah, amazing? Okay. So, first here we have the box that he came in, the big huge box that he came in. There he is. And as some of my reviewers do, they read a little bit of it, so I'm going to read a bit of it. So let's see, uh... Rebuilt with parts, cannibalized from other Decepticons, Megatron rises once again to lead his army to through the Allspark... Um, though the Allspark destroyed him once, he can now feel its power coursing through his circuitry. It calls him to seize his rightful place as ruler over the puny planet on which he was imprisoned and destroyed, and from which he will launch his conquest of the universe. Optimus Prime is all that stands between him and victory, and the, uh, and the Autobot leader has done a poor job of hiding himself. At long last, Megatron knows exactly where his enemy is, and he has the power enough to destroy him. So, Megatron, beautiful stuff. So, here's the toy. Megatron. Now, if you remember, his first form from the first movie was like this weird space jet thing, and the toy, while I liked the toy, I really didn't feel it captured the essence of the way he looked in the movie. Uh, this one, no such problem. Uh, this is pretty much how he looked in the movie, per bit. There's a little face, it's like, hello. He has a big tank-like thing. And anybody who's ever played uh, Star Fox, I'm, look, I'm seeing the Landmaster here. Anybody else? If anybody else has seen the Landmaster here, please, please comment because I'm seeing the Landmaster here. But without further ado, we're gonna get right into this transformation here. So, so here we go. So first things first, uh, the big uh, cannon kind of rolls up this way, and it is known to fall off. So we'll hopefully it won't. Uh, here's his arm, kind of mangled, we'll move that up here. Now these little mandible things, these also fold in, they break apart, this folds up like this, this folds over, this goes over, and then you just push them kind of under there where they sit nice and snugly. Okay. These kind of go up, and then the legs will eventually fold down. As I disconnect this back part here. Alright. So the legs. Oh yeah, it's got sounds. Did you hear that? When the legs twist. Hear that again. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. So this will come up and form his back. And I'm gonna lift his head up. Snap that into place. And I'll snap that. Place. There he goes. So there's his back. Uh, the legs. They will fold down thusly. Uh, this also snaps off. There it goes. And then once you snap off the tread here, this kind of does a little twist and folds down like this to form kind of like a foot. And then same thing with the other one. Just detach it, roll it down, spin, and there's the foot. So then the whole, this whole part here just kind of swivels down this way, and then the legs swivel down, whoops, and there goes the arm falling off, so we'll leave it there for right now. Uh, twist this like so, snap, same thing, twist, and then kind of bring it together like so. I also found this one a lot easier to do than the first movie, let me just say. And then these kind of come up and form like little shin pads here, these guys also rotate upwards. And then this kind of forms up here, and this goes up like so. So there's his leg. His arm, the mangled one, folds over like this, spins around, and there we go. 
So and then he's also got like these little weird like man like claw like weird mandible finger things. I mean they did not do a good job putting this arm back together. But that's okay because this arm makes up for it in spades. So this you kinda of fold over until it locks. Yeah. I love that. So let's watch that again. Fold the arm and then look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's so great. So then he's got the cannon arm like he did from old. And then lastly, once everything's said and done, he's got little feet, which I personally can never seem to find because, I mean, that's how good the detail is, shredding it in there. So the foot little flips out like that, and then the foot flips out like that. And there he is. Megatron, the new and improved Megatron. This is got to be one of the best Megatrons I have ever seen in my life, and I have been collecting Transformers for 20 years. I mean, she's just incredible looking. I mean, yeah, this arm's mangled, but so what? I mean, that's what happened to him. He got jacked up. He's got this arm, which really doesn't matter. It's got the flying projectile thing, which you know how much I love. Uh, red button right here, push, fires, and if that wasn't enough, uh, this part here looks almost like a shield, kind of comes up this way and forms a claw, and then one more little thing, he's got this release here, you pull it, and then this blade comes out like that, so here we'll do it again so you can see, look at that, so yeah, he's got a big cannon arm, and then he's got this big monstrosity that he can use to just hack and slash people apart, I prefer to display him like this, so you can see the full beauty of his main cannon. Um, sometimes it looks even cooler if you just have that out like this. So then you get kind of like this claw mode here. Uh, one last thing that I love with this guy. He's got this little switch here where the Decepticon symbol is. See that? It's right there. Yeah. You pull this down. How awesome is that? One more, one more time in case you don't know who he is. I mean, that's just amazing. Close up. Don't be afraid, children. He will not hurt you. So there he is. Megatron. Revenge of the Fallen. Excellent movie. So far, the toys, excellent toys. I, I can't complain about a single one of them. Some of them are extremely difficult to transform, like the Optimus Prime is a bear. But, um... Uh, I mean, they're amazing, they're great, and as one of my uh, reviewers likes to say, no kibble. Here's his back. They did just nothing. It's just a perfect robot. No, nothing. No kibble. It's nothing. So here he is, Megatron, Revenge of the Fallen. If you haven't seen the movie, shame on you. Go see the movie. If you've only seen it once, go see it again. So this is Dave, Draco031978, as always saying, if you don't have someone to hug, Hug a Transformer, especially after you go see Revenge of the Fallen, because it is fantastic. I bid you all good day.